Hello students, our today's chapter is Nationalism in India. We will continue our topic Civil Disobedience Movement. Today we will discuss how participants saw the movement. We will discuss about different social groups that participated in the Civil Disobedience Movement. Why did they join the movement? What were their ideals? What did Swaraj mean to them? We will discuss rich peasant communities. Who were the participants in Patidars of Gujarat, the Jats of Uttar Pradesh? Why did they participate? Being producers of commercial crops, they were very hard hit by the trade depression and falling prices. As their cash income disappeared, they found it impossible to pay the government's revenue demand. They decided to oppose the high revenue demands of the government through their participation in the civil disobedience movement. But they were deeply disappointed when the movement was called off in 1931 without the revenue rates being revised. So, when the movement was restarted in 1932, many of them refused to participate. The poor peasants, what was their aim? To remit the unpaid rent to the landlords. They participated in variety of radical movements led by socialists, communists, but Congress was unwilling to support no rent campaigns. Therefore, the relationship between poor peasants and the Congress remained uncertain. This question is very important. The industrial workers, the industrial workers showed lukewarm response to the civil disobedience movement. Since industrialists were closer to the Congress, Workers kept a distance from the movement, but some workers selectively participated in the movement. Congress did not want to alienate the industrialists and hence preferred to keep the workers' demand at bay. The business class, why did they participate? The business class wanted protection against imports of foreign goods. A rupee sterling foreign exchange ratio that would disgrace imports. They opposed the colonial policies that restricted business activities. In 1920, they formed the Indian Industrial and Commercial Congress and in 1927, Federation of the Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industries, FICCI. Prominent industrialists were Prashottam Das Thakur Das and J.D. Birla. The industrialists attacked colonial control over the Indian economy. They supported the civil disobedience movement when it was first launched. Participation of women Large-scale participation of women in protest, marches, manufactured salt, and picketed foreign clothes and liquor shops. In urban areas, women were from high caste family. In rural areas, they were from rich peasant households. Gandhiji was convinced that it was the duty of women to look after home and hearth, be good mothers and good wives. For a long time, the Congress was reluctant to allow women to hold any position of authority within the organization. Thank you.